Let me. I, I just want to hit it. Holy soldiers. Hey, I got second. Can you give me a short, simple, funny question that also accomplishes the same thing? How about this? Tell me about the time you tried explaining to a pet or baby why you were late for an imaginary appointment. What was there? That's such a complicated question. Even shorter. And make it have bad spelling. Make it also have emojis. All right. Here we go. Hey, chat. Answer this quick question for me. Ever tried teaching a cat to text? How'd it go? Laughing emoji. Will you put up a good fight? Hey, chat GPT. Can I ask you a question? Watch this. Of course. Okay. All right. Hey, ChatGPT. Ever tried teaching a cat to text? How'd it go? As an AI, I haven't had the pleasure of teaching a cat to text, but I imagine it'd be a hilarious endeavor. Okay. I mean, fair. This world needs hope. Ghostly. Maybe we could try a ghostly game. The GG ghostly game. That's funny. GG ghostly game. This world needs hope. Welcome back from the ad break, everybody. I will not falter. The road less traveled. Each unique sage that starts coming in the middle two rows grants two EXP. What is sage? I don't even remember what that trait is. Wait, what? I got a prismatic augment. What? Wait, um. Okay. Wait. Oh, wait. Story champion. Oh, it's very bugged. Okay. I'm going to try this Garen. I, I already have a Garen. Wait, wait. So let's take a look at what this guy does. So I actually got a Garen Hero Augment, which is awesome because I already had a two-star Garen. So you get another two-star Garen. Your strongest Garen's ability now grants stacking max health instead of shield. If he has more max health than his target, his ability does bonus true damage. Wait, so what should I build on him? It grants st stacking max health. What does that mean? Like how much stacking? How, how much stacking are we talking about? Oh, 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 I see. It's not max health forever. Okay, I, I misunderstood. I thought it was like max health for the entire game, but it's, it's max health for the fight. Okay, okay, my bad, my bad. I, I thought he was gonna get like 1% stronger every fight and I would build an infinite Garen. <laughs> Watch this. So what kind of spats can I do? Uh, he's a story weaver warden. So why don't I do a story weaver emblem? What about Dryad Garen? Oh yeah, let's see what Dryad does. Gain 100 AP and 100 health. Each enemy death grants additional health. That sounds fun. Uh, so, let's go ahead and put the the Wardens here again. So, Jax, Garen, and then Nar is a Dryad Warden. And then... Who are my other Wardens? Amumu, Alawi. So then Kogma and Caitlyn's... And, or like, Snipers still fit really well here. Kaylin grants you four free rules. Oh, thank you. This world needs hope. Fate hunts you today. Come, let me show you darkness. Uh, I got like nothing. I herald the greatest blessing. I got nothing good for my build. 
All right, I'm done for Dryad though. Yeah, I got one Garen. Wait, it's actually a GG, a Garen game. All right, so let's do like Dryads, Wardens, Snipers. Okay, wait, so do I want this Garen to be full tank? Maybe I put a BT on him. Oh, there's no BT left. Oh man, there's like nothing. I'm pretty sure you want AP on him. All who run are mine. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you, you go for AP Watch here. This. Uh, AP gives him more max HP. AD gives him more damage. But like, you'll have damage on the build. I'm pretty sure you go AP tank. So maybe, no, not crown guard. That doesn't sound that good. I mean, let me just be like full tank actually. Okay, I have a Kindred, so maybe I'm going to play more around Dryads than Snipers. Yeah, maybe I can hit a 3-star Kindred. That'd be a pretty cool build. I feel like Kindred's really fun. I'm surprised I lost. I guess probably it's because I have zero item slammed. Besides my dryad emblem. Mythic emblem. Gain a two star Garen. You now grant max health instead of a shield. If you get more max health than your target, you deal 40% bonus tree damage. So yeah, you definitely want to be tanky. Man, I lost my five streak. I'm so sad. I had to slam like one item. Isn't the Dryad spat too early? No, I'll tell you why. You already know you're playing Garen for sure. You already know you're playing Garen like no matter what here. And Dryad obviously, like I'm not good at the game yet, but if you look at his traits, Dryad links super well here. Uh, there is a immediately like a two cost Warden Dryad, and then you can build around the Dryads really easily. And then it gives stats that Garen wants. It gives AP and HP, which is exactly what Garen wants. It like fits too perfectly. It'd be weird to not slam it. Also, like five streak was on the table. I didn't end up five streaking, but it was on the table. Oh, TG. I feel like it's a low roll. Okay, I'm rolling until I hit Garen three. Watch this. I'm rolling until I hit Garen 3, no matter how long it takes. This world needs hope. Watch this. This one's got fire. Give me a G. Never a dull Give me a G. Fate hunts you today. G. Oh, I got fine vintage. Oh wait, isn't it like a little bit too late for fine vintage? Is it too late? I'm not actually sure if it is. It, it might not be too late. All right, let's try it. Oh, missed connections actually would have, oh, I mean too late, it's fine. That would have been so good for me because it would have given me three of the units that I needed. All right, let's give fine vintage a try. Oh. The last time I ate a plant was never. Okay, so... New day, new friends, same old me. Okay, so... I'm gonna try to just give Garen best in slot, and that's it. I'm gonna give Garen best in slot, and then after that, it's gonna be all support items. 
if you were ready to learn a new character in Tekken, who would it be? Probably Arena. I like her style. What's the one round part of it? I have to leave it on the bench for one round. Wait, it's an anvil? I thought it was a random item. The fact that it's an anvil is insane. That No wonder that guy was able to get so much. I'm actually gonna have infinite healing. No wonder. This augment's just straight busted. Okay, wait, I'm actually gonna have the godliest Garen. It's a G, G, Garen game. This guy also has everything must go. I'm very interested in what that really means. That means you just like can hold everything all the time and rolling is your only, like, the only limiting factor. One day I'll try that one. I was also offered that. But yeah, so just get a bunch of support items and make this Garen like the, the strongest unit possible. The wet and weave the sides. Hard spoil the chase! Alright, so I want a BT from my Garen, but otherwise I'll just complete any item and then turn it into fine vintage. I might even turn this Nashers into fine vintage. Pretty sure like the average support item is just way higher than the average regular item. Oh wait, this is a Rek'Sai 3. Do I want Rek'Sai 3 or BT? I think I want Rek'Sai 3. Okay, we're actually gonna have a crazy game on our hands. The ultimate Dryad Garen game. Okay, so he, he's gonna have a lot of tank and sustain. I'm pretty sure BT is gonna be really good because it'll scale off of his max HP and it gives AP and it gives him lifesteal. So one item will be BT. The other one might be a Titans. Titans actually sounds really good, right? It gives him everything. It gives him every d defense, which scales well with his HP. And then it also gives him uh, a lot of damage and AP. Yeah, so it's probably BT Titans Dryad Emblem. Interesting. Archangel sounds like fun. Uh, Archangel is a scam, just like in uh, set 10 on Garen. It like sounds fun because you get a lot of HP per cast, but you'll never live long against good teams. <laughs> Jenna grants you two set. This is horrible. This is so sweaty. Um... Oh, I don't like these. Maybe AP. Do I want Locket or AP? I feel like it's AP. Make Garen even stronger. Can these transform? I... Uh, I don't think they can. Oh wait. I don't, I don't think they can. I'm down to try once and just see for fun. My guess is no. If they do, it's probably a bug. Fuck it, I'll do your te your bug testing for you, right? Yeah, I don't think these would be considered completed items. Okay, it didn't go. That's good. Okay, so I'm gonna see if I can make a BT or Titans, and then if I can't, I will uh, make more support items. And I'm pretty sure you need to make it like Never ASAP. A dull moment. Make it ASAP as ASAP as possible. I will never get over how weird that sound is. All right, I need one more warden. Amumu or Lowy. Okay, well, I'm just gonna do this, and probably this. Wait, he's got a Kyle! Tattoo of Fury. Deal 35% bonus damage to target till half health. On takedown, grant 40% attack speed for 6 seconds. Interesting. Who's the missing triad? Uh, Azir. I'm not gonna see him for a long time. Wait, I actually lost. Oh wait, no, 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 we're good, we're good, we're good. 
This guy has two spats on his on his bench. Is that ever a harm assist? Harm assist sounds kind of interesting. Gifts from the Fallen is like whatever. You have my bow would complete uh, another item. No, I'm pretty sure it's harm assist. I'm on a streak, I'm on a level. I'm gonna roll for one warden. Dang, that's so unlucky. I said I'm gonna roll for one warden and we got two. Very, very interesting game. I just realized, if you ever get fine vintage, and you're like, wait, but I, I got it really late, you can just sell the units that have items. Put Ornn in for Dryad value? What do you mean Dryad value? Dryad, as far as I know, is not a permanently stacking thing. Some call me evil. Shall I prove them right? From my understanding, it is uh, per round and not permanently. Wait, it is permanent? Wait, really? Oh, you're right. What the heck? Permanent 516 HP. Oh, okay. I am very sorry. I, I was wrong. I thought this was per fight. I feel like the tooltip should say permanent. I guess the, the thing at the bottom, the total health implies it. When I read it, I assumed it was per fight. I didn't think much of it. It did not strike me as the kind of thing that you need to put it in immediately. But yeah, also, it, it doesn't look like you actually have to put it in the Ornn. It looks like it, it applies to all Dryads no matter what. Oh, that guy just ran through the carousel. What's different about this set? I... I don't know. Entirely different units. I would say it's just like new units, new augments. It's nice. Like, I, I enjoy it. I think the units are cool. I wouldn't say it's like a very innovative set in terms of like, there's no like crazy new mechanic, but that's totally fine. If they're going to make new sets of TFT every four months, like it's totally fine for some of the sets to just be like, hey, we have new units and augments. New units, new traits. When are you going to make a Garen item? Eventually. But like these support items are so broken. The average support item is way higher than the average, like, regular item. Unless I have a Garen best in slot right now. I don't think it makes any sense. I guess I could have held the sword for a BT, but I'd rather just get more support items. Oh, I lost. Banshee's Veil? I don't even think you need a Banshee's Veil. I think it's just more, more, more power. More power! More AP! I want my Garen to have 1 billion AP. Gain a 510 health shield for 5 seconds. I need to sell this Kindred and get the Nashers to turn into a support item. How much HP does he have now? 5,000? Okay, he needs like, yeah, a BT or like a D-Claw. Okay, I'm gonna sell this Kindred and then get the item off of her. And then I'll go eight. Well, I can maybe go eight next round. I can sec one. I still need money to go nine to get a zero for six dryad. And I guess a zero will be my carry. I'm not sure how a zero works. I tried him once and he felt really bad, but maybe I didn't have enough dryads. Is Derek's that bad on Garen? 
don't think it's bad, but like I'm definitely gonna greed for best in slot here. Oh wow, I just got a level seven and zero. What? We are made by our choices. Wait, now I actually have to roll for a kindred. After all, for a kindred. Oh my god. Leave your journey or die in mine. One kindred. Oh no. Is it upset? It's probably upsetting, Cleaver. None of those are that good. Like, uh, I guess we don't have any shred yet, so I might as well do that. Does Azir hit many targets? Fire a beam through the current target. Okay, he does, he does. Wow, I can't believe I actually hit that Azir and now I need the Kindred, that's funny. I might as well roll, I'm about to hit 3-star Nar. Alright, so give me a K or a G. Roll at 7 before I level up. Uh, do I even... Not really. Do I even want this? No. One kindred. One kindred. Stick to the plan. Why did Sword hit one kindred? Why is it so hard to hit one kindred? Yeah, maybe like two players have three star kindreds and that's what's going on. I want to see how much health I get. I guess we can calculate. It'll be like around 1,100. This BT on Garen is so nice. Holy shit. He's actually like unkillable. 5,000 HP and he just keeps omni vamping. Wait, he's actually unkillable. This is so satisfying. <laughs> oh, here we go. Fate hunts you today. Okay, so now I have six Dryad. So now you get 1100 HP and 40 AP. Okay, and then Wardens take less damage. Sure. Okay, I'll put in a movement back in. And then I'll eventually hit an R. I'm not too worried about that. I thought that my unit uh, was... I thought Azir does more. I thought he make a soldier. Am I trolling? Fire beam. Oh. Okay, okay. It does. It does. It spawns a guardian with 1100 HP. The guardian does not move or attack. So it's just like a tank. It's literally just like a target dummy. Okay. I'm down. So like, Gwyn's a zero would actually be probably pretty good. I mean, we're already so tanky though. Hey, my guardian got a declaw. 6000 HP. Donger J. Anything cool here? I could do two BTs. Oh, I could do the Archangels. Wait, I I'm like kind of down for the Archangels. Oh wait, D-Claw is also really good. All right, D-Claw. D-Claw is like very um, consistent. Archangels is like funny, but Archangels has a pretty good chance of like not doing anything a lot of the time. Gain 9% max health every two seconds heal. All right, I'm down. This maybe makes the unkillable. All right, let's see it. So we got the Garen Hero Augment, and then everything else is just playing around making this Garen as strong as possible. Garen Hero Augment. His ability, instead of granting a shield, grants max HP. If he has more max HP than his target, then he deals 40% bonus true damage. Okay, cool. So then we make a Dryad spell on him, which gives him AP and HP. It gives him a lot. It's like better than a Warmogs. It's like two Warmogs, actually. Then we give him BT and Declaw to capitalize off of that percent max health, which is gonna be just so large. He easily gets like over 6,000 HP per round. And then we just have a bunch of Dryads like next to him. We get Wardens and Dryads, play around his two main traits here. This is awesome. Well, I guess Dryad's not really a main trait. It is now. 
This is like a one in a million game where you get the Garen Hero Augment and a Dryad Spat immediately. My god. Yeah, we also have Fine Vintage, so you have a million support items on this Garen. I don't even know what I'm gonna play next round. Maybe Invoker? <laughs> Porcelain to try to get more uh more items. Hello, Dev's cat. Thanks to the Prime. Alright, I mean we're just chill. We are so tanky. Oh, and Virtue of the Martyr heals for so much. How much damage did Garen heal? Apparently my Garen Oh, cause it's not healing, it's gaining max HP. Oh, so you can't actually really tell. How much HP does he give every ult? 639. Yeah, th this Garen's health bar just doesn't move. No one can do any damage to him. Hard spoil the chase! Oh, hello. Your team gains 100 maximum health. That's ah, not that useful. If that's only for the bruisers, then whatever. Okay, I think I need to take any item immediately and just let it reroll into a, a fine vintage. Hello, 11. Thanks for the four months. Hopefully I can kill it really fast. Oh, I'm definitely not killing it fast. I'm slow. Let me just grab any item right now. Any item right now. And then let it reroll. Come on, come on. Yes! What do I want here? Needlessly large gem. 30% bonus damage. Yeah. Isn't it too late for gem? I mean, 30% bonus damage is a lot. And we're, we are so tanky, we're always going to live to that point. Does that mean that guy in the last game voluntarily chose two Zephyrs? Yeah, what a nerd. Oh, this late game kill is kind of scary. Wait. Houston, we have a problem. Late game kill. Kind of scary. Wait, hang on. Look at my Garen. 7,000 HP. 8,000 HP. Hang on. He's kind of doing it. 9,000 HP. It's over 9,000. He almost hit 10k HP. That guy's level 10. Oh my god! The last time I ate a plant was never. Try to keep up. Yeah. Oh wait, maybe I should be thinking about 10. Yeah, way at 10. This is awesome. What the heck? Okay, I need to see a 10,000 HP Garen at some point this game. All right, we go 10, play Hui. Or go 10 and play six Warden. Actually, I already sold my Wardens. Eh, I guess you could hit set and then one of them. All right, 7,000 HP Garen. Wait, this actually looks perfect. I think we might reach 10K. Come on. 9,000? 10,000! Third! Oh, he's dead. Well, it was fun while it lasted. All right, I need a set. Yeah, I'm down for six warden. I'm gonna put Garen, I'm gonna like expose him. I think he needs to take more damage early. Early on, wardens take even less damage, so I think he'll survive. I really need like an Archangels or a Rage Blade. The fights last so long, we get so much value. Come on, Garen, live through the pain. You'll be okay. You'll be okay, Garen! Wait, he's actually okay. He's unironically okay. Holy crap! He hit 10k! Oh, he died. But he hit 10k again, that's kind of sick. Destiny halts for no one. Wait! Is that a...
Dryad emblem? Wait, I could do some crazy Dryad gameplay here. For now, I'll just do Dryad, Dry Relia. Wait, this guy just hit a Galio. Wait! Galio 3? Uh oh. Uh oh. Wait, I need something crazy to beat that. Oh god, okay. Um. How, how do I even begin to think about beating this? Why Dry Relia? Because I don't want to roll yet. I've got a lot of HP. I'm trying to go 10 and then do like Dry... Dread. Dryad set. Oh no. Oh no. How do you be beat this? I can hunt my own 3 star. Okay, let me roll like twice here. I'm, I'm, I'm probably just gonna roll a lot at nine then. Does this do anything? Legends are told in word and deed. Fate hunts you today. I never rest. I'm just looking for. I, I think I'm gonna try to hit a three star Nautilus. And just like roll down at nine. Because going ten is definitely not gonna beat the uh the Galio. I still have to hit a lot of units too. Like I'm still on one star Orn. I still need to hit a set. Still need to hit a two star Azir. Oh, I think I got a component. Oh no, I got one gold. Okay, I have 10,000 HP Garen again. Do I win? Oh, winning this is huge. Wait, 11k! 12k HP Garen! Let's go! Okay, I still need to get one set. I mean, I, I could go 10, but is there a chance I can win at 10 without a 3-star uh, forecast? I could go 10 and then fit in like a lot of good units, but that doesn't sound like it's good enough. I feel like I have to stay nine and try to roll for a three star at four cost. At last, our ascension is at hand. Right, I'm, a, I'm a roll. I need one set. Art is empty without empathy. Live your journey or die in mine. Legends are told in word and deed. Need a set. Deed. Need a set. Set. Ready for this? Oh. That doesn't work. Move Garen for Chalice value. Uh, Chalice hits two squares, so it, it still works. All right. I have to hit this Nautilus. Wait, yeah, I have to hit Nautilus. Destined. Can I get an N in the chat? I'll start thinning the pool. My journey's only beginning. Oh god, it's three-star Galio. It's three-star Galio! Why not Slender Rod? Because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get an item for Azir. Slender like Gwinsus could actually matter here. Is it just me, or does it actually seem winnable? 
Hey, my Garen's not dying. My Garen's not dying. Eleven thousand HP. Wait, wait. I I, I think I won. <gasps> I won. Destiny halts for no one. What? The double gem. I never rest. Okay, he doesn't have a single Nautilus. Come on. Spirit, reveal our way. Get one and then get the other on carousel. Wouldn't wish my fate on anybody. Come home, son. All we need is a Nautilus on carousel. It's so close. Wait, 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 wait! Come on, Guardian! Ah! All right, Nautilus on carousel, come on. Nautilus, Nautilus, none. I'll take the most money. Do I slam this crown guard? No, I still have one more life. I still have one more life. All right, these fights are so close that I might win if, with good targeting. This time I make Garen tank a lot initially because of his warden buff. Look at this, look at how much he's tanking. The whole team is hitting him and he just keeps healing. Garen doesn't give a fuck. This is insane. I don't even think I need the Nautilus three. My fate on anybody. Holy crap! Garen in their face just heals for infinity! We didn't even need him! We did a three star four cost with this guy! Wait, set did 9,000 damage. I, I, I saw that for a second. Set did twice the damage of everybody else. That was a set one. It was a GG. A Garen game. Cool.